Now, let's go ahead and get a double Vicar Vault up. You couldn't stop me from this, no ends. Oh, no, any draw supporters, so now we are cooking. We are really, really cooking. Alright, let's go ahead and just retreat this out, send the Bulu out. You can have a Lightning Energies. Oh man, we don't have another Bulu that we can have bench space for. I don't need anything at this point. I can strong charge whenever I want. You want to strong charge, get get somebody else up. You know, boom, might go down, something might shut down later. Let's go ahead and double strong charge. Here we go, we can only use one more strong charge. Who wants to fight? Oh man, this is a tough... I think the next strongest card is this card. I could activate it again, but I'm not. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go ahead and stick more anyways because... Discard anything. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use Nature's Judgment. No, I don't want to discard my energies. Zap this frog down. Alright! One frog down, three more! Actually, five more cards to go. Well, hello the girls and the Frenchos. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on this Monday morning, I'll be serving you Tapu Bulu Chiang. So yeah, probably the best grass Pokemon right now. Yep, literally no weakness actually has four different attacks so we are going to revisit this card with a different build we actually have not have done the Vicka Bolt way yet despite being you know the most popular version so with possibly the best energy acceleration around for it we're gonna take a look at how good this really is so I'm gonna explain to you how this Vicka Bolt Bulu deck works but we know how it works Donald and you're gonna see it in three three what oh yeah Three awesome matches. I know you said it. So first match, Greninja break. Mm -hmm. Second match, something very powerful. And the last one, we're gonna have a very fun match where can this deck beat the GX Immune Hoopa? Yeah, let's see if you can get around that, Donald. All right, today's intro is, and the final day we're gonna use as intro, Limit Break X Survivor from Dragon Ball Super Witch. Alright, we got some good episodes coming up. Last one was good, this one, next one. Oh yeah, can't wait to see, uh, I bet, I'm, for the previews, I bet I, be quiet, no spoilers. No spoilers, let's, uh, let's get started, Tapu Bulu. Let's say that, uh, Tapu Bulu GX here has a favorite saying, I'll be back. Kinda like the Terminator. Alright, so, you know, we'll get to that hit point. Tapu Bulu GX is a basic 180 hit points, and just like all Coco the Master, his friend Tapu Coco is here, they're all about the same. For a basic GX, that's pretty good. He actually has a little bit more than them, but 180 is pretty average. Moving on, the first attack! One Grass Energy Horn Attack. He just hits you with his horn, very light damage, very low energy cause. He thinks, I'll be back. I'm gonna finish you later, this is just a warning shot. Okay, so 30 isn't that much, but it does compromise, you know, those big hit points. It brings enemy Pokemons down such a way that a follow-up attack from his real attack will finish them off. In fact, you can boost that 1 energy, choice band, 60 damage. Oh yeah, if your GX Pokemon lost 60 damage, for 1 energy, it does not matter. You will probably go down to the next attack. That's enough to compromise any GX Pokemon's hit points. They will get one shot next following turn, and let's see, his second attack, Nature's Judgment, 120 damage. This is a two shot on most, most GX Pokemon, except the upper, 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 upper crust. So, three energies, you cannot use a DC, unfortunately. That's okay, we'll fix that. And he hits you, takes half your life away, and says, no, I'll be back. Because he hasn't finished you off yet. So he'll be gonna be back. So pretty much, uh, if you had a choice, man, and you did open up with the horn attack, then he'll he's gonna say something else. He's like, I'm back! Bam! 150 damage with that choice, man. And that's a two-shot right there. Leading up from horn attack to nature's judgment. He's back. He's back. Or he'll say, you'll be back if that's actually the very first attack. So 150 isn't uh 120 and 150 is not enough to one-shot most GXs. So he'll be back. You got it. He's gonna be back. And he actually has a special option. This creates a completely new attack. This is his third attack here. Yeah, so when you you may discard all energies off him, and he does 180. In which is like there's no 
going back. You're just out of here. There's no chances. One hit KO, 180 damage. Yep, basic Pokemons, they will get one shot at basic GX Pokemons. And if they are involved, Choice Band, 30 more damage. And he will shut down even Stage 1 GX Pokemons with a one hit KO. He's like, nope, he's not coming back this time. He's already finished with you. So, and finally, his uh, GX move, his re fourth move. Because this attack is technically two different attacks. Fourth move, Tapu Wilderness GX. Where? It does a very high amount of damage. 150. Choice Man, one hit KO. And then he heals himself completely back to full. So I was like, I'm back, guys. I'm fully, I'm ready to go. I was wounded, it hurt. But now, I'm fresh again. Let's go into battle. And he's a completely fresh type of Bulu. After this, after getting a one hit KO with this GX attack. So, four different attacks. No weakness, no resistance too, but no weakness. This is one of the best grass Pokemons because it has four different moves, all of them which are meaningful. So, Tapu Bulu, we love you. Now, how do you get these three energies up very quickly, instantly charged? So, we are going to use our Vigavolt right here, who is a Lemon Lime Dispenser. Yeah, strong charge. Look for your deck for a uh, search your deck for a uh, lime energy right here. Here's a lime energy, and here's a lemon energy. Yeah, one of each lemon and lime, and put it onto any of your Pokemon any way you like. And it so happens that, yeah, this last attack, you can put this can be a lightning energy. So you see, you can instantly charge a Bulu one turn as long as your lemon lime dispenser is up. And he can also fight too. Yeah, but except his attack is not good. Discard all your energies, just get 150? No, you want the 180 from Bulu, so this is your real attacker. He only has to fight when there's that Hoopa coming at you at the end there. All right, so now that's your core tech. We also have two side grades, just one of each. We have Tapu Koko GX, who's Arrow Trail. When you put it on your bench, you can move Lightning. Only lightning energies onto him, and he's ready to go. And he also has two good attacks. So two shot KO, don't need to boost it anymore, and a GX that can get a one shot. The more energies they have on all their Pokemons, three, four, five is everything dies with this GX. So that's you know that's reasonable for your opponent to have. It gets a one shot, and it can suddenly just show up. Anytime, switch out a wounded Bulu, so it's a very good tech card, just a good one up. And we have the Alolan Vulpix! We should give you a name. Alolan Vulpix, free attack, free double Ultra Ball. I mean, you're gonna take some time to set up the, your Lemon Lime Dispensers because it's stage two, so just leave it up front, don't pay, don't waste any energies, help you get a better setup, and Bulu's gonna take care of everything in later. All right, so that is the deck. Is there anything special about this deck? All right, I'm using heavy balls because a lot of my Pokemons are worth, do have a three retreat cost. Charger Bugs three, so is Vicka Vault, so is Bulu, so it is a good, it's kind of like a Master Ball for these three cards. What else? We have Aether Paradise Conservation Area. That's a very long stadium name, but it helps protect your Bulu. See, most of Bulu's attacks or two of his attacks can get one shots on, you know, even have itself. We gotta stop that from happening as long as the stadium is active, which can be removed. So Tapu Bulu has actually 210 mitigation. So over it will survive. It may survive one extra hit that you know would normally have taken it out. So prevents 30 damage. Also works on Tapu Koko. Yeah, double the chuck combo, double the double the benefits. So anything else? <sighs> Strangely, I ran, didn't run into many decks that I needed a choice band for. I often needed the Fighting Fury Belt to stay alive to keep my Pulu from getting one shot, so this turned out to be more useful. But uh, the, yeah, we only have one choice band actually, despite me explaining, hey, you could use the two of your bands to get one shot. Ah, uh, just, we just need more tankiness, tough. So I think I'm done with the explanation. Here's the quick recap. Bulu here has four great attacks. But he needs lots of energy, so your lemon line dispenser takes care of it. That's it. All right, let's move to the matches. Here we go, Greninja, and full pie, the EX immune Hoopa. Welcome to the very first Tapu Bulu Vikavolt match. I'm gonna play Pie Remix of Before My Body Is Dry. 
sounds kind of some innuendo there, but uh, just ignore it. This is from um, Kill the Kill. No, I do not want to play the Lele now. I'm gonna bridge that Lele. So she did not get a Moon. Did not get a basic Pokemon. Oh my gosh, she is Greninja. So Greninja shuts down my Pokemon. Oh, you know I can weakness damage. I should definitely win this one, but we will see. We will see. I have a weakness damage. As long as Bulu's go- Wow, three cards? Yeah, I'll take it. Choose a Pokemon to bench? No, Lele, you cannot be benched down. Oh, Lele starts up front, so we are gonna get this started. Yeah, please, Bridget B be here. Yeah, Bridget Baby. All right. So, let's go ahead and play Bridget. I'm playing all my heart with Donald will make a Bridget, Bridget Gigas deck. I don't know about that, buddy. We're gonna get a Bulu's and we're gonna get two Grubins down. Alright, energy goes onto the Bulu, of course. And we're just gonna hold up. You know, you can do whatever you like. I'll keep my, uh, I think I'll keep my Float Zones because you might take them off. And, uh, you know, it'll be okay to play a Float Zone. It just puts it, you know, make it available to lose. So, you know, I go first. This is a major advantage. You can't evolve your first turn. Well, I can evolve, yeah, my first turn. So, this is, this is pretty nice. However, yeah, we can actually send the Bulu out next turn and do, do some pretty nice damage up here. So if he does send Frogadier out, we'll just retreat, hit with the Bulu for weakness damage. It's going to be pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome. With the weakness damage here, so the Frogadier, the Greninja right now because it shuts down abilities like a, like a Garbodor does, it's, it's holding its own out there right now. I wouldn't say it's uh, the best, uh, yeah, it's not been uh, placing first, but it's been used a lot quite often so are you excited for crimson invasion says oh my gosh i'm looking at the purple names i cannot read that legos physics hello again i think we played a match before uh yeah i am uh, i am excited that's usually very good time for pokemon uh youtubers because you get a lot of new cards out so uh, maybe future new trainers although oh, no. and uh, i guess i should have played some uh float stones oops uh Na, na, na. Wow, you gave me two Charger Bugs! Yay! Yay! Alright, Star You. This is a big core. We really want to take out the Star You as soon as we can. And now I kind of regret not playing the Vulpix, but that is okay. We're not here. We don't have any one shot KOs just yet. What energy up? Sure, sure. Let's go ahead and play this right now. Let's go ahead and play the Charger Bug. Charger Bug again. Another energy right now. Do you want to activate, get another uh, Vulpix out? I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Sycamore, though. So that's one of my Super Rods gone, but I do need a big hand. All right, there's uh, there's this for a trait. You can have uh, you can have this right here, because I guess you can fight someday. All right. Let's go ahead and use Beacon. Beacon. I want Banana Masters as well as Vicavolt. There we go. Banana Master, Vicavolt gets you guys up there. And now, if he wants to, you know, he has to send the frog out, which could be vulnerable to me because I, I'm, that's, yeah, I have weakness damage. I don't need to discard anything to one shot you. Evil Soda, which one? Probably gonna be the Frogadier. Yep. You're gonna pay this to retreat. You're gonna use water duplicates to fill up only. Wow, a lot of your bench space has been used up. However, you can just straight evolve a Froakie. So, I kind of knew that. <laughs> there you go, water duplicates. Yeah, there definitely should be two Froakie here, so. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get a double Vicka Volt up. You couldn't stop me from this, no ends. Oh, no, any draw supporters. So now we are cooking. We are really, really cooking. Alright, let's go ahead and just retreat this out. Send the Bulu out. You can have a Lightning Energies. Oh man, we don't have another Bulu that we can have bench space for. I don't need anything at this point. I can Strong Charge whatever I want. You want to Strong Charge, get get somebody else up. You know, Bulu might go down, something might shut down later. Let's go ahead and double Strong Charge. Here we go, we can only use one more Strong Charge. Who wants to fight? Oh man, this is a tough... I think the next strongest card is this card. I could activate it again, but I'm not. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and stick more anyways because I want to make sure I have Guzma's Law of Valuable cards down. Let's go ahead and shield myself right here. 
There we go. We can definitely use the super rod. Not now. Not now. I'm not discarding anything. So I'm going to go ahead and use nature's judgment. No, I don't want to discard my energies. Zap this frog down. All right. One frog down. Three more. Actually, five more cards to go. So let's see if we can hold out on this one. All right. You can shut down my abilities. That's fine. I have my GX attack. Your damage should be limited. And without any... Uh, you I, I bet he was really begging for a draw supporter. So, there is a Greninja coming up right now. Greninja is up. Greninja could use Moonlight Slash. Or could try to shut down Bilbies. It does not matter. I'm a pretty good... I'm relatively good to go. And if Miss Lele has... Uh, Coconut Master has to fight. Then she'll do enough damage. So, there's Frogadier. Sycamore. The, oh, just in time. So, we're going to see two Greninjas out. I might be low enough that he can get a one-shot next turn. Maybe. If it's possible, we may just open up with our GX right away. I kind of wish I made some space for uh, Bulu, but that's okay. We have two Vickabolts up very, very efficiently, so I'm pretty happy if, you know, we could just instant charge him. Except with Greninja blocking that, it may not actually be possible, so we will see. Four Energy Lele is pretty good, so... Alright, I'm using Super Rods instead of using uh, the Energy Recycle, so... I wreck get... oh man. <laughs> I'm going to be, uh, oh man, Splash Energies, I can't read that. Splash Energies, okay, so you get to keep everything here. And I'm going to be shielded for 30 of the damage, so he shouldn't hurt me that badly. Still, it matters that he can get one Greninja Breakout. He may get a KO if he gets all the right cards. Evil Sodas, Triple Evil Sodas, this probably will get to star you. There we go. Everything is loaded up. All right, we don't really want to give him any more cards. Field Blower, gonna go ahead and take away probably the Float Stone. I mean, these don't work. Actually, they do work. They do work against the Lele. They do give out, help me get the one shot sound. Not really. Not against this deck. So, every, we're all in the fight. Oh, he took the Stadium out. And he took the, he's like, nope, Choice Bands are useless. You can keep them. Good choice. Good choice. Now, what will you use? This really depends if I believe that he can uh, get a. Let's see, what, how much, how big can this combo go for? 80, choice band 110? You shut down abilities? <laughs> Too bad I can't fill up another bench space. I like my hand the way it is. I don't need to do anything. And it looks like... You wanna risk it, Donald? Yeah, let's you risk it, because if he does not... Let's go ahead and be risky. Let's use Nature's Judgment again. And say no. No, don't discard any energies. I'll just one-shot your Greninja. And now if you... There we go, take that. The, the, the conservation. I'm not gonna use the Tapu Bulu's Willingness. Even though he does have a one-shot potential, I have Vickabolt ready to go. It doesn't matter. If he, he has to use his Shadow Stitching to block that... But, if he does use Shadow Stitching, there's no way he can get a KO on Vickabolt. There's no way he can get the KO at all, absolutely so. And okay, you can end my hand away. I had everything in my hand, I'm pretty good to go. And Rex consistency of decks that plays Vulpix. I'm doing fine. I am doing just fine, buddy. So, uh, yes, it does, it does affect it, slow you down, but... Yeah. Vulpix is still pretty good, Vulpix is good, so... Okay. No, every every single of my video so far has been demonetized like 24 hours, so I don't wanna I don't know what to do anymore. I don't think it's uh I don't think uh it's you know it's uh well We gotta save that for another time. I just gotta be careful. Maybe it affects it it probably doesn't matter. It probably doesn't matter, but we'll be able to do advertiser friendly stuff, so okay. Alright, Frog! The Frog is not getting energy. However, Tapu Storm? Oh, you want to do Tapu Storm. He wants to GX me and shuffle all the energies back as well as the Bulu. That is totally fine. We can handle that. But you have to... Yeah, it does have a free retreat. But he is desperate. And nobody has actually has a uh, free retreat right now. So I don't know really who should actually go out. It could be Vulpix again. Nope, there is the Greninja Break. He's able to toss an energy down. He has to star use ability. It's choice Ban. Oh, are you going for the one shot? No, you're not going for the one shot. And this does not have any weakness, so. Alright. 
Tapu Storm GX. Go oh, no, everything goes back into my bench. I uh Lele. You know Lele won't be able to retreat. That's okay. I can do some good damage here on with Lele. Lele can fight. That's the thing that counts. Alright, let's go ahead and field blower that out. That's okay. I don't have any use for field blowers right now. I'm gonna go ahead and Sycamore again. Goodbye, Guzma. Goodbye, field blower. Don't have any use for those cards, so whatever. Alright, think of all. A Bulu. Should I can jump in with a. I can jump in with. No, I have to take a Bulu. I have to take a Bulu. I could also jump in with my Tapu Coco and get a two shot. But that's okay. I need the weakness damage. Let's go ahead and activate Vicavolt's strong charge. Pick two of these. Bulu's coming back. He's like, I don't care. I don't care whatsoever. Do they both have to go in the same Pokemon any way you like? Alright, I like any way you like. Strong charge again. Yeah, give me one of these. Give me another lightning energy. Since there's Tapu, Tapu Coco here, it may be able to kick in later. Yeah, we can add more energies to you. But you already have a two shot in this card. So I don't care. I'm gonna put on, uh, I'll pick on. Pickleball is a very strong attack. Put on Banana Master. We may want to keep our Float Stones. You know, we went and went with Guzma. Guzma would come around. So I'll go ahead and play one Float Stone right here. I could toss the other energy down. I don't really care. I probably should care though. It's okay, I will toss another energy down. For for our Vicavolt to come through. Alright, we're all good and dandy. Let's go ahead. We don't need to fight with Actually we could just GX it. No, we can't GX it. We could use Nature's Judgment, but I don't want that. I'll just go for a two shot. We'll finish you later at hit time. 90 damage, two hit KO. There we go. Hey, Greninja's still an okay deck in the meta. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. It hasn't been doing, uh, you know, it hasn't taken uh, places in tournaments. Well, maybe one has, but still, I don't know why. I think it can. I think it can. I'll just have to try it out. So, oh, Mr. Frog com comes out. I don't think Mr. Frog is a one shot. You know, it is still possible. Okay, Max Potion. All right, then. Mr. Frog, you want to come out? Now you're here if you have the active. You know, I can just take you out in one shot and that's going to help me uh, later. So we'll see what happens here. Double frogs! Uh-oh, double ninja throws. Double ninja throws. Oh, my Bulu is safe. But with Space Beacon, I kind of want to Guzma this Starmie out because this will cripple his strategy. This will cripple. He is now his full setup. He can go try to go for a comeback strategy. And yeah. This has to go soon. So we only use one Guzma. And the rest have not been coming around. So we have to wait around for that. Let's see what you do. I'm, I'm still in a pretty good position. You gotta put a... Alright, looks like you want to attack with that frog. That means you're not going to be able to use a double retreat. You're not going to be using a double retreat. You can only use one Ninja Star. I don't know who you're going to go for. But I'm definitely going to go for the one shot with my Tapu Bulu here. And if you take out my Bulu, I have another one ready to go. Or I could just GX and heal them up. We will see what you do. The energy should have gone back here. Yeah, did you notice that? Because then he would have used the giant water shuriken. Do 60 damage to somebody. And then switch again, do another 60 damage, and get a KO on my Lele. But the energy was on here, so you have to KO my Lele later. That's annoying, but you're going to lose one Greninja break line pretty darn soon, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, go ahead, toss that. I have my GX attack. I would GX you at this point. Okay. Are you going to switch and do it again? Shadow Stitching, shut me down. Okay. You should not be using Shadow Stitching. I'm gonna get a one shot. Let's get the. I kind of want the lightning and the grass energy to be able to fish back. He definitely has a one shot at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and play Shana because, you know, five more cards, it could get me some Guzmas to shut down that particular strategy. Let's go ahead and give you a choice band, because I can. And we're going to use Tapu Wilderness GX. Heal you off, prevent any one-shot KOs from happening. 
There we go. I know it's only 60 damage, but that is okay. So, you get to keep all those cards. You still have one Greninja. This one will take a while to set up, and I don't think... With this current hand, there's nothing that keeping me from getting your Greninja. And with too many, with this many... Yeah, with this setup, we don't have another Vivicabolt Bay to go, unfortunately. Alright. If I didn't have weakness advantage, I would probably be struggling a little bit more. I do have one-shot potentials, but I would have to be recycling energies uh, a little bit more often. Alright. Why do you always exclude Sushi Master from your deck? He's very upset because I don't have to set Sushi Master up. I just have to put out bananas, and I'm good. Bananas, like, I'm watching you, man. If he's ends you, I got you. I got everything. Wow, that's a lot of cards in your hands. So, you're running out of time. This is your last fighter, and then I guess by next turn you can get another Greninja out, but that's about that. It's just not gonna be a break. There we go. Next turn. And uh, we'll see what happens. You can do whatever you want to me. I'm ready. I am ready. Not single prize card just yet. We're using double super product kinda. I'm not spending energies that much this round because I don't have to discard energies to get the KO, so. Uh, we may have to actually use a uh, energy recycle to make this work. Good night, pigs! I will always remember Sushi Master. Oh, Sushi Master remembers you too. So I think this guy is just using a too much. Uh, there's no reason why you should be shutting down my abilities. I guess he's worried that I'm gonna throw more energies down. But I'm just holding it off. I am just absolutely holding it off. So Sycamore, he needs another Greninja. We can't GX this time. So this time he will be able to shut down my abilities, for sure. And we have to shut this down. And that could be a problem. Of course it is going to be a problem. We'll see what happens though. Shadow Stitching again. You're going to block my abilities. So next time, there is no next time. We'll get you ready to fight. I have to finish you off. I have to finish you off. We're going to use Nature's Judgment again. I can't do anything else. I'm going to say no. You should have... You should have just activated the Use Your Strongest Attack. Because I would have not used any abilities and the damage would have been more meaningful. So now, you cannot use Shadow Stitching at the right times. So I think this Greninja could have had a little bit more momentum to it, except that, uh, yeah. He's just really, really scared of my strong, double strong charge. So now, um, 80 hit points? Yeah, you have to use your strongest, you cannot use Shadow Stitching. You cannot use Shadow Stitching. At all. So I will be able to Vickable another, uh, you know, get another Vickable out. Or Bulu out. I just need another Super Rod. But yeah, I've used up all my energies. I gotta get another Super Rod out. Or activate and uh, send out my uh, Coco. And yeah, good time to end. Banana Master is like, I got you, Donald. It's okay. Oh, another end card. That's not good. Well. Uh, for now, we'll send out Banana Master. So we're gonna look for that type of Coco. So, Frogadiers come down. This looks like the last couple of fighters down here. We can, uh, Moonlight Slash. There we go. So, basically, my abilities all can kick in at this point. Alright. So now, we're taking some prize cards. I'm not gonna get much out of the end. This is why I prefer... Oh, yeah. Bingo. Coco. Or Bulu. I don't know. Coco, come in. Boom! Yeah, take the energy. Take the energy off you. Take the energy off you. Take the energy off you. We're done. Go one shot this Greninja. By the way, I can use Instruct to get more cards out. I just don't need to. Oh, a Guzma. Here, I have a choice band too. Sky High Claw, one shot this Greninja. Yeah, one more prize card. We lost our uh, heroic Bulu, but that is okay. You have to send a GX Pokemon out at this point, but I have, yeah, there's no comeback. I don't think so. I'll be able to wear it out. I'm too far ahead. All right, this Greninja player needs to not use abilities that, that weaker attack, because yes, you are shutting down 
to me, but I had no other second Pokemon to charge it up to, so... Or no really good one. MVP? Ooh, yep, Bulu. Okay, so... Greninja's pretty resilient. You know, even though I was in ahead, I still felt like he could take away my Bulus at any times. So, that's that. GG. Charger Bucks USB Plug Master. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Ooh, another... Vicavolt Bulu Batch. This is our second time on stream playing Full Pie. He got me the first time. A little N N N made sure of that, but this time I'm gonna get by. It's come back. He's uh he's one up on me. I'm gonna get a comeback. I'm coming back for this full buy. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get going. Yeah, we're done. We're not gonna play that card just yet. Good luck, full buy. And I'm gonna get started. Now this is gonna be my remix of Red's Alola theme from Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, Trainer Red. We need our Vicka Bulu to come out right now. And everything's gonna be a use it or lose it unless I Lele something out. So let's go for Lele. Alright, Charger Bug. I, I think I can get you back. Where's Miss Coconut Master? There's Coconut Master. There is a card I need as well. So let's go hard. Let's go ahead with Coconut. Once again, Young Goose. Young Goose starts up front, and then I bet Full Pie is like, what the heck? It definitely, they have def, definitely uh, there's something up with that. So, Coconut Master is gonna lure out Bridget for me. Coconut Master. There is Bridget. Brigadier is gonna pull out. Grubin, Grubin! And we're gonna put our first energy onto our Bulu. Banana Master, I'll get you later. Alright, first energy goes right here. That is all I can do. I will end my turn. And that's gonna be that. So we're both gonna be trying to get a setup. I know he's going for a... Uh, He's playing Xerneas Break, which you have seen him go into one-shot KO potential early on Twitch. And if you haven't found, I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's hiding there. It's hiding there with the first, the first battle. So that'll be a thing there. So, how fast can he charge up? Really fast. Opening up with Bridget as well. Energy for Retreat. Actually, yeah, it can retreat. And he can open with Geomancy to get even more energies up. Geomancy. All right, what do I do? I need to evolve my Grubins, which if I Sycamore land them, that's going to be better than just trying to, like, like, use Guzma to get them stuck. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to give Fulbright any more cards. Let's go ahead and Sycamore, which does... I do lose some valuable cards off that. And... Wow! Charge a bug! Number one! Charger Bug number two. Yeah, yeah. It was like, Donald, you could have had rare candies and attack him at this point, but no. All right, at this point, I don't need to use Vulpix, do I? No, you don't need to use Vulpix. All right, Vulpix. Sorry, we'll come get you back later. Here, here's an energy. Here's a choice band to thin, deck, thin stuff down. You don't need this, but that's okay. And we are gonna go off with a horn attack. Why are we doing a horn attack, Donald? That is because I can get the I can get him with one hit next turn. So I think that's more value. I want to shut down this before he goes into insane one hit KO levels. Which is yeah, you don't want him to go into insane hit one hit KO levels. And with a choice man, this GX can get me too. So energy right there, Sycamore. Okay. Free retreat. Definitely want to go for a uh, two one at this point. Z break. First Xerneas break is up. He can go with the offense right now. Both of us can go. Geomancy again. Time to get the get the cards going. He won't lose any energy because of this uh, this XP share. So energies go up. I'll be able to get my maximum value here. But man, this is good. Only one Bulu, two other surprise. Better make it count. Oh, I didn't notice. Thank you. I could hit the Xerneas break that's ready to fight. And that's gonna kill kill a lot of his energies. It's also gonna kill a lot of my energies too. Or I can finish this off right now. Let's go ahead and play this. Hang on, thin your deck down. Strong charge. This with this. The grass needs to go here. 
this needs to go here. I can Guzma. But I want to make sure things uh, are handy and I want to get that two removal. That's not bad. We'll go ahead and add another energy right here. I'm going to heavy ball for the next Vickabolt out. He can GX me for the one hit KO. That would be bad. I didn't get any two removals. Let's go ahead and get rid of this right now. Nature's Judgment. Say no. Conserve my energy cards. And let it be. I could go I could have Guzma. But I opted for a little bit extra setup by having more cards for the next turn. <laughs> and get a Bulu out. Yeah, I got Bulu ready. It looks like Full Pie is opting for the one hit kill GX. I think I might have to do something uh, similar. Alright. He's gonna use his GX attack. If he gets this evolved. He does have a free retreat though. He does have a free retreat. His energies are building up to spectacular levels. He may have a one shot with a choice band with me too. So choice band in the back. We really want our two removals to come out. So. Super odd. Super odd. Three, two cards back. That's totally worth it. That's the free retreat available. Banana Master! Yeah! High five of enemy Banana Master! Man, it's Sycamore. Alright. Here we go. GX! Gumshoes, are you gonna use your GX? Uh, this is my last choice band, so I would not be able to one-shot this, so this is kind of bad. I, I do still have... I definitely could have my use my GX, uh, my up GX available right now, too. If I really, really need a one-shot. Nope, didn't have it ready. I get to live! But he might have a one-shot right here ready, too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, oh yeah. I think that's uh, with the choice, man. One hit KO on Bulu. That's okay. Live stream, one hit KO, 210 damage. Ow. Ow. We definitely need to end that hurts, and we definitely need to catch back up with that. All right, play this right here. Get a float stone up. Let's start. Let's go ahead and activate this. No, no. Let's go ahead and super rod. We need to super rod those energy cards back. One of each, especially the grass ones. I have to end to shrink his hand. He just has too many cards in his hand right now. So let's go ahead and end now. Oh yeah, I forgot to use my. I forgot to use my my stuff. That's why I, thought I did set that. I do that. Strong charge. Still okay. <laughs> Luckily. Grass. This. Put this up right there. Retreat. I do have another Vicavolt ready. I don't want to pop my GX. And the, that's going to be bad. Alright. We're going to have to discard everything to get this guy down. Nature's Judgment. Yeah. Drop it. Say yes. One, two, three energies. That's more kind of even, but the fact that he has a one-hit KO is really bad. I pull out all the Bulus, but I really need to take the, uh, the, the, the items off. And he gets to keep an energy, I believe. Yep, he did. Keep most of his energies are up here. Two energies. Max Elixir. Oh, we are out of here. Another one hit KO from Full Pie. Another one hit KO. <sighs> and you can't use abilities to shut this down. You cannot use abilities to shut this down whatsoever. And with the Gumshoes GX, he'll be able to. Oh, yep, my hand sucks. Now everybody wants to make uh make this deck now. It is good. Yeah. Can I take down Gardevoir? Maybe. Maybe it could take down the deck. Definitely take down uh, Garbodor. Cause it doesn't really matter if it's uh, the, the, the ability shut down. Live stream. Another one shot KO. All right, Volpix, you come out. 
play to energy here. Put this down. I don't really want to activate this. You know what? Let's go activate. We don't want to draw any energy. So all our energies are now used up. I kind of want to blast the Lele. They'll guarantee that'll get me very close on prize cards. And stop his, uh, cut his damage a little bit. I also sold the Banana Masters as well. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use Nature's Judgment. You say yes. Knock those three energies off. As well as getting two prize guards. Get a come, try to get as close as possible to, to uh, full pie. Okay. So hopefully that limits him. Hopefully that limits things uh, on his side. And we will see what we can do. I still need two more prize guards, which sucks. And if he finishes off my poor weakened Bulu, I'm in a lot of trouble. I paid up a lot of energy, so I'm gonna need my super rod, my last super rod, pretty soon. Yeah, big, big, big price. And take a look at my hand. It, it, it sucks, Popeye. It sucks. What can we do? Uh oh. One DC live stream. Nope. It had enough energies. Not enough for a we'll cut this. One shot, one shot, one shot. Ah! But! I kept at least two prize cards away. <laughs> That's your victory there. GG, GG. Well. Ugh. Isn't that deck strong? Good game, Popeye. Good game. Alright, so. He got me. He got me good. He got me. Alright. We are now facing the EX Immune Hoopa, which means we have to one-shot these with our Vickle Volts, which costs three energies apiece. So that's one Super Rod apiece, and this is what I get for not running that many re energy recyclers. But that's okay. That's okay. You're hiding that in the back? Sure. Getting extra energies up. Let's get started. Let's see if we can overcome this. So... Ooh, fresh hand. Thanks. That's better than... Oh, well, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna play my remix of Brand New World from Asterisk Wars first opening. Did I get a better hand? Kinda, kinda. Wish Baton. Don't worry. I'll go through, I'll get through your card. Let's see what we do need to do. We'll go ahead and thin our deck now by putting a Bulu up. I definitely retreat if I can. I will have to sycamore. This will no. Let's not sycamore. We need that super rod because I will be expending lots of energies. I could bridge it or I could end, but I think I'm gonna go for an end at this point. Yep. Let's go for an end. We are gonna go ahead and hopefully get another groovin or retreat now. Either will be very good. All right. So we don't have a retreat, but we can get another groovin down because I don't think this one's gonna lot live. Yeah, that's about to say. Now we're gonna need this for the next Lele. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. If we finish off the groovin, this Hoopa is gonna go go to go city to me. No, I would ditch the Tapu Coco GX for regular Coco. Mmm, I don't think so. I that Coco GX has helped me a lot. It has helped me significantly, and it has been very helpful. I'm going to keep the uh, Coco for the instant switch in. So, Fighting Fury Belt. Alright, slow start for both of us. This means the Hoopa isn't going to get the one shot on me. And I may uh, be able to switch. So hopefully he can throw another Pokemon down. If he throws another Pokemon down, I'll use this to switch. Otherwise, we're going to have to Lele yet a second time to pull out our cards. Wait, he has a one shot? Oh, with the Fury Belt and this, this is just enough. It is just enough. So now we gotta bring that we gotta bring that card back. Okay, so oh, Charger Bugs there. I need a Lele. I need a Lele. This is a bad, bad hand. Alright, Lele, do this again. End. And let's do this. Still, not time to super rod for sure. Oh, 
Okay. We do get grass energy. We definitely need the field blower this away from you, as well as damage. Do I care about you having 10 damage? I think I care about you having keeping your energy. So let's go ahead and take those off right there. And we'll just go ahead and use a uh, horn attack. Yep. And hopefully, yeah, this is the card that gets through the one shots to Hoopa. So I should be able to. Oh, I needed it up. I really wanted to retreat the last Grubin, but that was not possible. Okay. Most of the I've seen Tech Coco GX for switches and reliable two shots. Yep. He's like, yo, I can do this. He has a free. No, this is ain't free retreat stadium. I think he had one. There we go, Alt of the Moon. It's like 10 damage is almost nothing, but it was something when the Grubin was out. So, Guzma out. Oh no, he knows he's not gonna let me keep my Grubins. That's two Grubins gone. Two Grubins. Oh, I need you. I need that card to beat you, but you denied me once more time. Once again. Alright, it's gonna be a user loser. This time we have to super run that card out. And hopefully, can I do that again? All right, this is the last Grubin. I don't care. We're gonna put the belt on so you don't so you don't kill my Grubin card. And that's it. You may take another Lele. I mean, I just have to deal with that. So yeah, no chances, no chances, unless you do have something to get me. So choice ban. You might take another two prize cards off this. You will take another prize card two off this, so I definitely gotta retreat. Professor Kukui, that is gonna sting. But hey, when Charger bugs up, it's all gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Groovy Groobin. Groobin. I think I'm gonna play end next turn. I'm gonna shrink his hand down. And we're gonna try to find a way to retreat. If we have a Guzma, that'd be good. Field Blower? Okay. Taking that away. Do you have a way to one-shot this? He might. Okay. Off the Grubin. That was for security. Now we gotta deny the prize card. Banana Master, I think I need you. I'm pretty sure I need you. At this point, I don't I I can't afford to wait. Hold on. I need a sycamore. <sighs> this is a retreat. Counts. Beacon. Give me my charger bug. Give me a Vicavolt. No, I don't want a Vicavolt. I may have to play a Sycamore again, so we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. You can take my Vulpix. And then you may take my Lele later. But next up, Charger Bug should be able to slap, finish you off. I had to play an energy to retreat, but that's okay. Now he knows what's up, and your, your Hoopa won't save you now. All right, we can get three energies back up, which we can. Nah, we, we can't, but we can. We can't, we can't. He's got a. He's. I'm picking up steam now, but he's already halfway to victory. So this is it. He said it. I said Groovy Groobin. That's right, Prowler. Bridget. Ah, the mid-game Bridget. Yeah, Bridget's only good to start. I kind of feel like I should take Bridget off myself, but we. Uh, you know, Bridget. Bridget opening is one of the best. But we have lots of. Uh, we have lots of Pokeballs. I can't. That's one of the things I think is better than Bridget because deck dinners make your deck go smoother. And what do you have here? Wow! The Abyssal Sleep Dark Rye as well as another Hoopa. One is only charged up though, so we'll be we'll be able to use our GX Pokemons for a bit after this. We do have more Float Stones to be able to retreat. Actually, zero. Yeah, zero Float Stones have been used up. That's good. That means all of my treats are still available. Yeah, Banana Master would be great in this matchup. Yeah, Banana Master has a one-shot too. But in order to get my Pokemon's... My, uh... My, uh... Card charge up, I needed that card. Dark Rye! Yeah! Dark decks, Basic Pokemon's... Oh man, I think this is actually pretty good. One-shot KO there! So, we can actually get Banana Master instantly charged up for a one-shot right here. We don't have to send our Vicavolt and discard any energies. I think that's gonna be the best value. Alright. Let's go ahead and activate this first before we do anything. Oh my gosh, I didn't have a grass energy? They're on Bulu! They're all on Bulu! Oh no, he's gonna get a free hit on me! 
He's gonna get a free hit. I didn't know there was another, another grass energy. I should have activated this all right away. Oh. At least he can retreat. Oh. That, oh, it's so thin. Oh, Donald. Donald, you should rest in peace. Ah, the last grass energy was prized up. I could avoid it by blowing the super out early. So I can't just use this as a retreat and just sycamore. I have to sycamore. Abort mission. No. We're still okay. I'll hold you for now. Was that my last energy? No, I have one more lightning energy. I'm gonna hold up for a bit. I'm gonna hold up for a bit. The grass energy that I thought I had would was in here, the prize guard. But I still could have super rot to get that one grass energy back. I know I have a lots of grass energies. I have a six, so I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I had one more. But oh, we missed it. Wesley Trahan has just subscribed. Wait, this is uh. That noise is from the YouTube. So somebody subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hehehe. <laughs> All right. Yes, my, my special YouTube plays channel. Okay. So what? You could get a free super side bolt. We are. That's okay. It's nothing. Hang on. Retreat. We're gonna activate this again. Get it correct this time. Does anybody need the grass energy? No, nobody does. Activate this right here. You're stuck. I don't need my Pokemons back. I need energies back. That's gonna be more, far more important. So Psychic one shot you and pull that grass energy out of there. Nope. Hey, float cell. Good, good, good. One, two, three, four, four. There are two grass energies prized up. There were two grass energy surprised up. And I wasn't keeping track of my deck as, as as well as I should have been, so... Yeah, that's why you had to super out that back. Oblivion Wing! And now he's running... he's running low. We can one-shot that. He now knows his Poopas can get one-shotted. We had a counter. We had a counter already. You know what? I'm totally good. I mean, I got a Floatstone ready. Go ahead and switch this out. Do I need any energies back? Nope. Nature's Judgment. Do I want to discard energies? No! Finish them off! And you get to keep the energy there, so I was going, waiting, he's waiting for the Dark Rye. I could have Guzma that out, but let's just get rid of this. We did it had to go anyways. I kind of want to build Umbreon GX Evil Tall for the lows. This, this sounds pretty good! There's no real synergy between that, but, you know, Umbreon's... Umbreon's... Well, actually, the, the, the sort of is. Oh, there isn't. There's no real, real big synergy, but that's okay. Saving up for the dark rise. Like, what? Can you play N for me? Looks like he's he's stuck. He is stuck. We were able to get through. So now I'm catching up big time. Charging up the dark rise for the infinite sleep. Is that your main Pokemon? You want me to finish it off? Yeah, I may die for the infinite sleep. I'll take a Grubin out so I don't draw it. Thin my deck out a bit. I will stop that from you. You did that, you hunt down my baby Pokemons. I do the same. We can't act. Actually, a Banana Master could finish it, but that's okay. No, we can't. You can't. Charge up another Pokemon? Nah. We're okay. Let's throw. And it's not good for me at this point. Grubin or Coco. I want to get another Grubin out. Let's get this line evolved up. Save up that bench space. And we're going to use Nature's Judgment. No, I don't need to discard anything. Infinite Sleep? I don't think so. I had, you know, I have, uh, you know, you can't retreat when you're asleep, so that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't help. But this card would have helped, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. Good night, Donald. 
Good night! Mikan. Mikanio. Mikano. Alright, and he finally he's been winning uh he's he's gotta shrink my hand down. That's okay, more time. We can totally handle it. We have our one luck one lucky choice, man. And gonna charge up the, the hoopens to Ed. Right now, I don't have another Coco, but well, we don't we don't have a one shot on this. We still have our GX attack. We could Coco. Don't have a retreat. Yeah, we have a retreat. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna use Tapu Wilderness. Put energy on you. I'll keep the float stone. I'll use nature's judgment. But I wanna know. I could just use my GX. Why would you want to use a GX? So you just straight one shot it. There we go. One shot without healing anything. Take a prize guard. I think no matter what, I'll be able to get the KO on this. Yep. It's gonna come out. It's like you. Nope. Banana Master's ready. So is Vicavolt. This does not get through me. This does not get through me. I have the good balance of non GX and GX Pokemon. I'm good. I have no weakness here, too, which is very good. Now he finally found his Sycamore. So his setup has been, uh, his setup, uh, his momentum has been, uh, chopped off for a couple of turns. Alright. Anyone know when the new Zoro GX is coming out? It's coming out at the, uh, November. Yeah. So Hoopa's charged up. Hoopa can do damage, but I can one-shot it. It is absolutely okay. Field Blower gonna take away the Float Stones. Sure, I have one ready to go. Or I could just retreat everything, which would, be, would not be as good, but it is possible. And basically, I have I have some options, some door that allows me to get through this. Thank you for the sh stadium to shield me for that. We are gonna go ahead and retreat. Send the boot, boot, send Banana Master out. Add another energy to our Vicavolt. He's ready to go. I'm not even gonna thin my energies out. Boom! Finish that off. No nope, poopa, you cannot use that to cheese me. Yeah, that last card is it must be a grass energy. Alright. So we have a one shot through Bulu here who can use nature's judgment to straight one shot this. Has a free retreat. Doesn't matter. Uh Banana Master's a retreat as well. So he he stuttered out. Alright. I think that's, uh, yeah, this may be like, the game. I'm gonna retreat, use Bulu's, G Bulu's uh, Nature's Judgment to discard all my energies and get the KO. I think that's gonna be it. It doesn't matter which Pokemon at all. Fright Knight can shut down all Poke Tools. Still, it's gonna be okay. The only thing it can do is play Guzma and try to wait to get me stuck for a couple turns. And I have two Guzmas left. I'm okay. I can wait a couple turns, and that's that. Okay. It's like some way. How? Time is ticking. The clock is gonna go. I think this is it. Sycamore. He did have a Guzma. What? He did have a Guzma, then you could have Guzma... Uh, I guess you could have Guzma something out? Yeah! Guzma my big fat... Grubin out! And I would have had to wait for a couple turns. Maybe you got a prize card in there? And Evil Tall. This looks like... Man, here are the Evil Talls. They're all afraid of lightning though. He does have a free retreat. My main move is to retreat and hit with Nature's Judgment. Full power with Nature's Judgment. Dark Pulse. Banana Master's like, I'm alive, guys. See how I carried you through this? Yep. Retreat. Oh, man, I have to pay. Bulu, be that. There we go. Nature's Judgment. Yes! One hit KO on any basic. 
Get those energies out there. Get the last great ball. GG. Hashtag Groovy Groovin. Hashtag Tasty Groovin. That's such a cool name to say. All right, we can we can go past a uh, Hoopa, a little Hoopa, annoying Hoopas. Yep. All right, moving on. Well, looks like you reached the end. That is so. Thank you. Congratulations! It is time we rate this deck. So Tapabulu, let's break you down. All right, unique trait. What makes you special, Bulu? What makes you special, Bulu, is you have four really good attacks. Yep, this is actually split into two. All of them are good, no weakness. You overall are a very good card. Yeah, but I put the unique trait as Energy Flood because, yeah, with these guys up, I don't, you don't need. No worries, you're gonna have energies. You are just gonna have energies to use any of your attacks. That's, you know, that's the key part. So they, you know, they're both very critical. What else? Damage! I'm gonna give you a 4.5 out of 5. Because you do have trouble against stage 1. I mean, you do have the damage. All you need is a really a choice man right there. We only have one in this build. In fact, there's a way to improve this, but kind of tough to do. But uh, 4.5, meaning you will crush most basic GX Pokemon. One shot, one shot, one shot, but stage 1s, it gets a little difficult there. Setup, I will give you a 3 out of 5. You know how I? You see this Alola Vulpix. It takes about 2 turns to get into full power. However, once your Vicavolts are up, that's good. You're golden. Every Pokemon is good to go once Vicavolt is up. You will have the energies. But, I'm not using rare candies. That can be a little bit inconsistent. So I'll take the consistent long way up. Charge a bug. All that. Vicavolt it is necessary. You have to have this card to make things work. Although there are three ways to make things faster, but I'll give it a three out of five. Just because it's a slower start. It matters. Alright, defense! You're giving away low HP GX Pokemons. This in this day and era is easy to one-shot. Even with the stadium, stadiums can be removed. Yeah, lots of Pokemons can one-hit this. Reasons why it's not dominating these guys. Yeah, if you can beat it, you can take care of it. You can one shot this Bulu, and that's that for it. So, 4 out of 5, which is average. 2GX kind of defense. Rating overall, though, it's a solid card. We're going to give it a 4.4 out of 5. Tap a Bulu with a Vicavolt. It's quite good. It's good. It's good that it gets an average, it gets a fair fight against most decks there. Alright, its weakness is that it's. You know, Drumba can one-shot this, Garnover one-shot this, Espeon GX one sh can one-shot this if you do have three energies on these things. So, you can discard everything, that's why it has, you know, has a little bit of a chance there. And energy recycling for my deck, I use Double Super on. Maybe you should try and hit one energy recycle, two of them. I didn't, I wasn't spending that many energies. At least during the matchups, but if I do start to, I'll definitely make that adjustment. adjustment. And, uh... If possible, maybe, just maybe, I could take away a Vicavolt line and add in Laurentis promo. So, this is not the Tomorrow's deck, this is Laurentis promo. There it is. If it just had one of these up, it can handle Stage 1 GX, says Guard Void GX, all in one shot. So, maybe this is key secret ingredient. So, upgrade, energy recycle, this card right here. This card re might just do it. I'm done with uh we're done with this time. What else? What is up for tomorrow? Halloween. For a Halloween video, we're gonna be doing Hunch Crow. Oh yeah. 600 damage, 10 prize cards, 6 GX KOs. Hopes that's something you wanna see tomorrow. So we're gonna have a nice good Halloween deck tomorrow. So that is it for now. Thank you very much, Ed Grolls and the Frenchels. No, oh, if you liked the video. Hit like! If you don't like it, do the other button! Please uh, subscribe if you haven't, because you know you want to see more Pokemon's videos just like this. Crimson Invasion is coming out soon, so we'll definitely be hitting all those videos. Uh, Dex, you can follow me on social media, and I'll give you hints when new things coming out, just like I give you a hit that the new remixes. All the songs that you've been hearing but you can't get. 24 new remixes are coming later this week. Uh, next video, this video, tomorrow on Halloween, Honch Crow. You totally don't want to miss that. 
do not want to miss that. And I may have secret YouTube channels where if you really want to know what I'm do, doing all day, you'll find out there. And I do play other games too, so I uh, upload, right now I'm uploading the Twitch streams to that channel. And that game is happens to be Assassin's Creed Origin, uh, currently. Alright, that is it for now, Inner Girls and the Frenchels. Thank you very much, I will see you guys tomorrow for Hunch Crow Halloween. Bye bye